My talk today will be about the hepatic hemangioma. Hepatic hemangioma is a benign hypervascular tumor of the liver affecting females more than males by a ratio of 5 to 1. Usually subcapsular located and usually solitary in about 80% of cases and multiple in 20% of cases. The hepatic hemangioma has a very characteristic pattern of enhancement on CT and on MRI study to the degree that if we appreciate this kind of enhancement, we report it as hepatic hemangioma without any other differential diagnosis. On ultrasound, the hemangioma reflecting homogeneous hyperechoic pattern when it's smaller than 2 cm. And this happens in more than 80% of cases, but when larger than 4 cm, hemangiomas may present central heterogeneity uh, corresponding to necrosis, hemorrhage, or fibrosis, which may difficult its ultrasonographic diagnosis. On CT scan, on the plain study, hemangioma reflecting hypodense appearance and after intravenous contrast administration, if it is smaller than 2 cm, it shows complete enhancement in the arterial phase with retention of the contrast in portovenous and delayed phase become more bright than the adjacent liver parenchyma in all phases. The large hemangiomas, more than 4 cm, show very characteristic pattern of enhancement which is peripheral nodular discontinuous enhancement in the arterial phase with the centripetal progressive enhancement in the portovenous and the delayed phase leaving small central non-enhanced area in the delayed phase due to presence of central liquefactive scar remember that the pattern of enhancement of the hepatic hemangioma is following the blood pool. What is the meaning of following the blood pool? Following the blood pool means that the enhancement is similar to the artery in arterial phase and similar to the portal vein in portovenous phase. If it doesn't match the blood pool in every single phase of contrast enhancement, forget the diagnosis of hemangioma. Now, I will show you some different cases of hemangiomas by ultrasound, CT, and MRI. This is a case for female, 25 years old, not known to have any medical illness. Ultrasound was done revealed hyperechoic lesion, more or less rounded appearance seen in subcapsular area in the right lobe of the liver. CT was requested for more clarification of this tumor. CT was done with triphasic study. Here in the right lobe of the liver, we have mass lesion showing the typical features of liver hemangioma seen in the form of peripheral nodular discontinuous enhancement and the pattern of enhancement is following the blood pool. What is the meaning of following the blood pool? means that the degree of enhancement of the nodule is similar to the aorta as you see here in the arterial phase. When we go to the portovenous phase there is centripetal enhancement and the more fill in of the enhancement of the tumor itself and also the pattern of enhancement following the blood pool and in the delayed phase we can appreciate more and more enhancement of the tumor as you see in this image here so this is the classical appearance of cavernous hemangioma of the liver by ct scan Another example for the uh, multiple hemangioma by MRI study here. This is uh, a post contrast study arterial phase. We have a small hemangioma here uh, seen in segment A showing a uh, nodular uh, enhancement, peripheral enhancement as you see here. And in the segment 5, we have a larger one with peripheral nodular discontinuous enhancement following the blood pool. When we go to the portal venous phase, there is complete enhancement of the small hemangioma and the large hemangioma here showing centripetal fill in was more enhancement in the arterial phase and in the delayed phase uh, there is uh, more and more enhancement of the hemangioma with non enhanced central scar so this is example for the hemangioma by the MRI study so 
This is everything regarding the hepatic hemangioma and its detection by ultrasound, CT, and MRI. Thank you very much.